All right, guys. Today, we throw in on the pads. Alright guys, today we come into you live from Valmont Bike Park in Boulder, Colorado. I had a few of you guys ask me on the live stream yesterday about how I learned to jump and stuff like that. And thank you guys for being in the live stream. I had a lot of fun in there. I plan to try to do one maybe, maybe once a week or so. So let me know if you guys enjoyed that. But I want to bring you guys out and show you where and how I learned to jump. And today I'll be riding my Trek Roscoe 7. This is not a sponsored video. I just like the free Trek shirt that they gave me. It's super comfortable. <laughs> All right, guys, we headed up now. I'm gonna go down the small line first because it's been a while. And I'm gonna show you guys the small line to see what something like this would look like if you were here or if you ever had something like this in your area. All right, small line, here we come. Oh, I want to do this wall ride, but I'm scared. I'm scared. So you can jump these if you want. And that's the small line. Quick little vibe. All right, so we're going to do the medium now. I think we're ready. Ooh, that used to be a little jump right there. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Let's go. I actually cleared them. I barely cleared them, but this is where I learned to jump right here. It's right at this bike park. I love slope style. I used to go over there and do the dirt jumps, but that's why I hurt myself. So I kind of stay away from that now. Man, this Roscoe is a beast. Clear, clear that. Yeah, let's go. I was scared on watch out right there. <laughs> guys, that's sick. That is sick, guys. You don't even need a dirt jumper with this Roscoe. That's why I love this bike park because you can hone in your skills so good. All right, guys. So last year or even a couple of years ago, I was never able to clear those jumps all the way like I wanted to. But now on this track, Roscoe 7, which is why I want to really keep the 27.5. It's, it's so much easier to jump with that bike. You don't even need a dirt jumper. So if you guys have a 27.5, keep it as much as you can. The 29 inch Roscoe is awesome, but it ain't nothing like that 27.5. I love this bike. Let's get back into the trail. Gotta crank out that wheelie. Y'all must have forgot. Y'all must have thought I forgot about the wheelie. Uh uh. Skrrr. Not bad. Man, I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but I hit my brakes midair. And I don't advise you doing that, my landing. I still stuck the landing, but it didn't feel too good landing with that front wheel completely stopped. <laughs> Guys, let's start on the small. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah this Roscoe actually keeps more speed than I thought if I just pump it. So this is actually where I learned to do my, my jumps. I just hit a rock. My back tire hit a rock and made me case that jump. But yeah, this park really helped me learn how to jump and just be confident on the bike in the air. So if you have a park like this in your area, I highly recommend it. All right, guys, I think that's gonna do it for this video. I just wanted to come out here and show you where I learned to jump my Roscoe. And how I learned to jump it was just going on these small jumps and getting comfortable with my bike and easing myself up to bigger and bigger jumps. And it's nice to be able to just come out and stay within your comfort zone until you feel like you can do a little bit more and more and more. So never go out of your comfort zone until you feel like you're really ready to take that next step. So. I just wanted to come out here and show you guys how I learned and the bike park I like to come to when I need to freshen up my skills. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.